Would you rather have more features or more stability? Well, this is the question that this uh, Reddit post asks, and I think uh, it's an interesting one. So let's dive into the answers. And of course, the first one is the correct one. I'm sorry, but we shall answer the question right like uh, 20 seconds in the video. And the answer from Nate Karam, pointiest, pointiest stick, is it's a trick question because anyone who answers newer, newer features will then complain about poor stability and anyone who answers more stability will complain about a lack of new features that are being implemented in Windows, macOS, GNOME, etc. over time. In both cases, they are likely to silently abandon it for another platform. We need to... We need both to be competitive and that's right but of course the point is uh, well of course this is right but uh, what's the line between the two how much should we focus on either and that's also a bit of a trick question because it's not like we sit down and decide how much percentage of our time is dedicated to bug instead of making new features but we can control that to a certain extent, at least in uh, accepting or not some merge requests. So I think that the question is actually fair to some extent and let me tell my screen not to die. Okay, so this is the correct answer, but I'm still curious to see what others replied because you don't really end the question like that, in my opinion. So KD Plasma 5 currently has everything I need, of course. That's uh, probably a bit true, but objectively like false for uh, the majority of people. Sadly, most people will either have complaints about bugs or features. That's just uh, the status quo of most programs. And uh, KDE in particular has this bit of an issue, not about features, but about bugs. Stability. Okay, so we do have a clear, uh, clear answer there. And that's the difference between a valid release version and a beta. Period. KDE has been pretty good with that, except for the earlier 4.xs releases. I've never used them, so I can't comment into on that, which they publicly say were not yet ready for prime time, as I recall. So about that, I also want to talk about Plasma 6, because as you know, it's coming. As you now know, it's coming. It's not coming like next month, but it's eventually coming in maybe one year, maybe two, but uh, there's people working on it and it will be ready. And uh, people might rightfully ask, is this going to be like 4.xx where everything is going to be buggy because of the transition? And the idea is not. It should be much a much cleaner transition without like doing the whole thing from scratch, which would introduce new bugs. So in theory, it should be a much cleaner um, transition. However, I'm of the idea that we should start considering publishing new version of Plasma, surely Plasma like 6, but also the minor major versions like 5 dot something when we are ready instead of every three months. Right now is every three months a new release for sure, and I can know right now the date of the releases from a year from now. I think that this uh, is good because it uh, introduces like um, people trust us, uh, trust our schedule. But on the other hand, I do very much enjoy the idea of publishing something when we decide it's ready and it has enough stuff to also be promotable because Three months is a tight schedule and sometimes the promo group hasn't much to try to work with to actually promo the next version of Plasma. I have both, to be honest, that's very nice to hear and I like the relative trickle, trickle or tweaks and additions mixed in with a much larger set of bug fixes that don't get so much press. Uh, which is true. Most bug fixes you don't hear about. I have not had an unstable plasma in many, many years now, other than things caused by my own actions. Well, I gotta say, I use plasma unstable and it's so unstable. Like, of course, if you use plasma unstable, it's not going to be bug free at all. But uh, of course, that's on me because I use plasma unstable because I need master to actually do any work. So I can't say yes, plasma is stable, but that's because of what I do. Yes, I love this answer. It's the best one except for natives, of, of course. I can say I've noticed much in the way of instabilities. 
Uh, it's nice to see that so many people speak out saying that plasma is stable. That's always nice because so many people speak up to say it's... And probably the worst problem is the 11 second delay to logging in out out due to KD Connect and that's fixed in the next release. Are you sure it's all because of KD Connect? I mean, might be, but in general logging out is a bit slow regardless of that, so it might not be like the fix. Usually complex pro problems like login and logout performance are not caused by a single issue that will be fixed in one release, but will need many releases to be improved over time. That said, I can't think of any feature I feel my desktop is missing, though I do. Though that's not to say something might not come up with something I'd find useful. What do I lack? Well, first of all, I would like a completely different system tray, something along the lines of Windows or Mac OS or Android or what else, Chrome OS or iOS, like every or even the GNOME new system tray thingy. Like literally everyone except us is doing this new system tray and I like it more honestly, so I would like to see that. And I'm seeing this with this provocative tone because this was caused, uh, this caused many, many discussion in the visual design group and most of the designer are against the new system tray desktop. So I'm an outlier, but a, a proud one. Um, KD Connect, is this what's making my system take a while to suspend? I couldn't say, and this is really important, as I never, okay, the obvious thing is to stop it and try, that's very obvious. Don't think that because a bug was fixed to make startup, sorry, logout times faster because of KD Connect, that is going to solve it. Stability always features on release. Okay, that's a bit of a low hanging answer, I mean, Stability always features on release. I mean, okay, we do have already the idea of minor and major releases with the dot, dot, one, dot, dot, two being for debugging and then the dot something being for releases and new releases have, as both bug fixes because uh, you can't uh, backport all of the bug fixes bug fixes, but also new features. So that's what everyone does really. With a release, I want to see a new defining feature as well as stable, stable pa patches to iterate on previous features. Okay, you're not describing a new Plasma release, but uh, I don't know, a year of development. So maybe this comment is asking for like longer time uh, longer times be between uh, releases, which totally makes sense, but to have new defining fi defining features of a desktop, you need time, like more than three months. The defining feature could be visual, like an adaptive theme, or the, yeah, that modifies the wallpaper according to the time of the day. Yeah, it would be so nice to have that, but it's also so complex. So uses an appropriate theme color to both wallpaper and time of day. Surely it would be nice, but this would be viv okay. You're you're uh, you're not actually answering the original question. You're just throwing throwing in everything that you would like to be implemented. So another example, and it's not an example. It's a feature request. Really, just kidding. Could be an overall of the accounts integration. Okay, it's a feature request. Let's move on. Kitty needs both. I don't think devs are choosing between the two which is true, which is totally true. Some volunteers are contributing for feature and other for bug fixes and some to both, obviously. It's not a trade-off. This is a very good point and it's true, uh, but at the same time, there are developers who do both. And to some extent, those developers can be asked to do a bit more of one or a bit more of the other, depending on the release. And I think that we could start thinking about uh, asking some of the existing developers to focus more on either of the two depending on the situation. That's something that could be done. Stability. Okay, thank you. More stability by a long shot. Okay, so if there is an answer to this question, it's stability, it seems. I lived in an era where KDE was focused almost only on features and not stability. It wasn't very good. It was cool, but it wasn't very good. The current pace they're going right now is great. Not boring, but not unstable either. Yeah, it's nice to see that the pace that you normally have right now is good. I don't think it's bad, although I would like to see 
a bit of a more stable uh, desktop. I think that's on one of the major issues with KD Plasma right now, the instability, in my opinion. I'd rather have a UI that doesn't require me. I think that if this poll was done, like the same question on the GNOME uh, subreddit, we would get like the opposite answers saying, yeah, features, 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 but it's done here. So it's stability. Maybe we always kind of want the thing we are missing as Nate, Nate was saying. If I have to choose between the two, it's going to be stability. What good uh, are new, newer features if you can choose them? Yeah, but I gotta say there are some good kitty features that I can't use because they're unstable. So it's true. Maybe unpopular and maybe not uh, supporting the answer that the question expects, not answering, not supporting, sorry. But I want more features. Okay, it's the first one. For me, KD Plasma on Wayland is quite stable. There are some crashes sometimes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you shouldn't, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why he's talking so much about running out of space. That's weird. But I still want a feature to be able to have different wallpapers for different workspaces. <sighs> I hear this so much. Okay, look, A, there are activities for that. But I understand that one might not want to use activities. But different wallpapers for different workspaces would be so tough to implement UI-wise. Not to say it couldn't be done, but I don't really know of any desktop that does this. GNOME doesn't. Uh, I'm pretty sure Windows doesn't either. I'm pretty sure Macintosh doesn't either. So we would be the only ones. And think about the UI, like you have the wallpaper, um, the wallpaper setter, and then you have all of your desktops and each time that you want to actually change the wallpaper, you need to select the desktop, the monitor, and activity. I, I, it's already complicated with activities and monitors. For each workspace, use activities, please. I'm okay with a DE that gives me tons of features and customization option to have a few bugs here and there. That's a good, uh, that's a good answer. I think it goes against others, but it's not about the objectively true answer. It's about how one feels. It's impossible to have so much power and customization customizations without a comparable amount of bugs. KDE is not unstable for me, very nice to hear again, and it has, has all of the features I could ever think of. What I'd like to see more is consistency between dialogues. I can't agree more. For example, um, the get theme dialogue types are all different with buttons in different places. That's probably done on purpose. I don't like that either, but I think that like missing the close button on dialogues for get new stuff is done on purpose, I don't like. There are also some settings here and there that seem to be possible to do in multiple places with similar, but not in the same dialogues. I'm confused about this statement. KD can be made to look like Windows, but don't take it too far. I've done Windows customization so many times. I was a Unix porn member, regular one. Stable is nice and all, but that's worthless if it comes at the cost of useful features. That's the opposite question of, uh, sorry, answers uh, that uh, above. I use KDE because it has everything I need and or like a lot without having to load it up with third party extensions. Okay, I mean, there are lots of third party KDE stuff and it's been stable enough as far as I'm concerned. More is. <laughs> More stability, holy crap, it's a mess. I'm constantly fighting with it on three monitors. Okay, on KD and stable, this is how I feel, but that's KD and stable because it's unstable. Unstable, I don't know what the situation is, so you tell me. Bug fixes, bug fixes, bug fixes. Can't disagree with this one. I'm doing bu bug fixes, like, I'm fine. I, I've done too many features before doing bug fixes, so it's on me, but I'm now trying to uh, fix that. Stability in the sense that same basic functionality and key combos and abilities and navigating to find things, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's um, backwards compatibilities with these kind of things. It's totally a double-edged sword, but a common user thrives on that kind of backwards compatibility. Yeah but I think you don't, uh, you didn't answer really the question that was meant. 
Here we have a stability with money here. Kitty has been pretty stable, which is nice. Discovery is still being shamed. When I try to install, sorry, when I install an app or try updating is crashing. Sad, I read somewhere this is an open source uh, issue. Okay, then it's uh, because of somebody else. Don't, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, another yes. Okay, some sweet spot in between. Okay, this is another, I don't say anything, but it's actually the truth uh, answer. I use Arch, by the way, thank you, uh, because I like playing with the latest and greatest, greatest features, say the new overview, which is... And Fedora on my laptop, that's so nice, like I, I can do these kind of things. That's because I'm on, you know, latest. So I often want new features fast, blah, 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 blah. Time is running out and I'm halfway through, so I'll do a bit of blah, blah, blah. New features any day, as long as they don't change existing code, which can cause regression with existing features. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not sure it's really possible to do new features that don't change any existing code, but I guess uh, the meaning is that it shouldn't overlap too much with the existing code. Okay, both, both, stability, 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 back fix, so stability. I discover new features in KDE that I don't even use. Oh yes, there are so many features that like KDE developers didn't even know about. Like when we discovered that you could actually plot graphs using Kranner, we were like, what? Graphs on Kranner? That's cool. Like last, um, last week I was on GNOME and I did alt space to bring up Kidrunner out of habit, really, and it popped up on GNOME and it was working perfectly. I didn't know Kidrunner could do this, so amazing. Stability, newer features, because uh, eventually if a new good feature comes, it going to get stable day by day. This is a promise that I would like to know that, like, I would love this to happen, but it doesn't. Like. The fact that we have a feature doesn't mean it's going to get any more stable than it currently is. C, activities. Personally, stable enough, uh, have more function with more stability. Okay, this is just, oh, come on. What do I do with all these beautiful functions if they don't work? Why can't I hold all the, what's this? That's beautiful. Why didn't I know about this image? Beautiful, beautiful. Plasma is so stable, so new features. It's not stable for everyone, so maybe not new features yet. Uh, can uh, cut back on features be an option? Yes, it it can. But uh, we need to be extremely careful when doing that because people that rely on those features, even the most like the ones that we think nobody is using, do rely on those features, and when we cut them off, they are. Rightfully angry. I think the priority right now should be to make KD Wayland something that most people would use as default. But, well, to be honest, I gotta say that Plasma on Wayland is going so well for me. The only reason I use X is to uh, use OBS. Only reason. So nice. Stability? It has to be both. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, oscillate between these two is such a nice answer. It, you know, oscillate makes me think of a pendulum. Swings. So you have features and then people complain about bugs. So you have bug fixes and then people complain about the lack of, lack of features. Always people complaining. That, that's such a nice way to put I gotta say that if you think of projects as pendulum swinging be con be, um, between bug fixes and features, well, uh, Kitty is in the feature part, while GNOME is in the bug fixes part. So it should sooner or later like swing and it's going to become the opposite and it's going to be very fun. I, I dubbed it. Stability, blah, 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 blah. What's the la very last answer? Stability, stability, stability. Kitty is so good. The panels, the icons, the themes, the customization. Dolphin, Dolphin is the best file manager. Console has a split terminal pa panel, pins. Panels, panels, okay. But I couldn't live with the bugs, okay. I switched from Neo to Kubuntu because of bugs and finally to Xubuntu. Right now, the only KDE app I'm using is Gwenview and it crashes all the time. I don't think it's Gwenview fault. I have never heard of Gwenview crashing, 
but yeah, I get your point in general. But no alternative comes close, so I'm stuck with it. Guanabu is really good. It's really good. Like, I really like it. Like I'm using I'm using a bit of GNOME image viewer, nowhere as close. Like even on the very same functions, like I don't know, cropping Guanabu. I don't even think that GNOME where is it? Sorry. GNOME image viewer where are you? Image viewer. Okay, so it talks about cropping, so I think this one does support. So let's try to open up an image. Hello, open. Uh, let's open up, uh, I don't know, what's this? My wallpaper, go ahead. Okay, so I now I want to crop this. Uh, blah, 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 show preference, it, it's not here. Save as set as wallpaper, image properties, show, no, it's not here. Right click, open with save as, uh, move to trash, properties. Okay, it's not here either. Where is it then? It doesn't exist, just tell me it doesn't exist. Show, uh, status bar, okay, image gallery, okay, but I need to crop. Where is cropping? Why do you say that in here image viewer, ah, rotate, it says rotate, I can, sorry, I can rotate this. That's what's supported, rotation. Okay, but I don't think that Gwen View, I mean, Gwen View does a lot without a bad interface, I don't have it installed, sorry. But Gwenvi does a lot without that much of a complex interface. I really like it. So that was it. I'm finally ready to, sorry about this, uh, sorry. I'm finally ready to have the animations again. And thank you everyone. I know that you're probably not donating to this light reading reddits and giving my thoughts videos. These are a bit more, maybe more boring, but it's something lightweight to end the week for me. So I decided to do this, but still more videos will come. I'm still working on rewriting plasma panels and soon hopefully I'll do an update on that and also many cool other videos and if you want to know in advance what videos I'm working on all you can donate and I've done a channel to publish all of the behind the scenes videos that I do which is usually once every two weeks but hopefully a bit more from now on. That was it, thank you everyone and hopefully we'll see tomorrow with a more intensive video. Bye bye bye.